I mean, it's Super Mario. You gotta love Super Mario. I don't actually have a very strong opinion towards Donkey Kong, but I do like him, and he is very iconic. If I hadn't played Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I'd most likely just put him in the B tier, but after playing Breath of the Wild, I really love Link. Samus is a character in which I don't really have a strong opinion for, but I do like her and I love her power suit. Until I really dive into deep into the lore of Metroid, uh, I don't really have a very strong opinion towards Dark Samus. I mean, it's Yoshi. He's adorable and a great ally to Mario. I like Kirby. He's really cute and adorable, but I don't like how we are basically forced to start off with Kirby. I mean, just think about it. How else are you going to feel about the fact that you have to start off with Kirby even though you don't aren't really used to Kirby and his moveset. I've seen clips of Star Fox even though I never really played Star Fox, and judging by those clips, I really like Fox McCloud. He seems like a very strong leader with great piloting experience and great martial art experience. I already went over my opinion on Pikachu already, plus I haven't really changed my opinion much at all. I mean, it's Luigi. You gotta love Luigi. I don't really have much to say about Ness since I never played Earthbound, but he seems a little too basic in design for me. I've never played any of Captain Falcon's games, so I don't really have a strong opinion towards him. But I will say this though, after seeing his death battle against Johnny Cage, and seeing his two iconic moves in Smash being the Falcon Punch and Falcon Kick, I really love him. Again, I went over my opinions on Jigglypuff and it remains the same. Princess Peach is not exactly the best Mario character, but I do find her beautiful and sweet. I don't exactly have a strong opinion towards Princess Daisy, but I do like how energetic she is. I love Bowser, I really do, but I wish that Nintendo actually made it much more of a threat. I don't care about the Ice Climbers. I do not know much about Sheik, but I do like her character design. I'm not very familiar with this particular version of Zelda, but she is beautiful. I think Dr. Mario is fine, but why did he need his own character slot instead of just being a costume for Mario? While Pichu's attack does definitely hurt itself, I understand now why, because Pichu is a real strong opponent to face off against. Other than being an edgelord, I don't really know much about Falco, but I do like how his moveset is very different from Fox and Wolf. I'm not a big fan of Fire Emblem, so I don't really care much about their characters. But I will say this, I really do like how Martin's voiced by Yuri Lowenzo, the voice actor of PS4 slash PS5 Spider-Man. Like I said, I don't really care much about Fire Emblem characters, but I will say this though, I do find it interesting that Lucina one time per impersonate herself as Mark. To be honest, I don't really care to much be honest, about I don't really care much about Link. He seems like the middle Link. child compared, compared to Link and Toon Link. While his moveset isn't very different from Captain Falcon's, Ganondorf's design in Ultimate is certainly awesome. I already said my opinions on Mewtwo, and it hasn't really changed all that much. Like I said before, Fire Emblem characters aren't really all that interesting to me, and Roy is just not really all that unique. Eh, at least Chrom was a long-awaited nt character to join Smash. I like how Mr. Sakurai actually put in a lot of effort trying to put in a 2D character like Mr. Game and Watch into a 3D game like Super Smash Bros., so I appreciate the effort. I love Meta Knight, even though he's a bit of an edgelord, I still love his design and I actually maimed him a few times. I don't have much to say about Pit, other than I like his personality and Palutena's guidance. Dark Pit is literally just edgelord Pit. Unlike Dr. Mario, Zero Samus actually has a completely different moveset compared to the regular Samus. I like it. I don't really have a strong opinion towards Wario, but I do like him and I think that he's a great rival to Mario. While I never got into Metal Gear or played it, I do have to say I really like Snake. I think he's awesome and kind of funny at a few times, and I really like his codec conversations. While I never got into Fire Emblem nor its characters, I do have to say, after hearing about how strong Ike is, I'm really interested in playing as him. While I don't have a strong opinion towards both genders of the Pokemon trainers, I do have to say that I really do like how both of their designs are based on Red and Leaf. 
I've already expressed my opinions on Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard, and right now they're basically still the same. While I don't exactly love Diddy Kong, I do have to say he makes a great partner for Donkey Kong. As much as I don't care about Ness, I have to say that I prefer him over Lucas. Even though he can be a bit too cocky and sassy for my taste, then I do prefer Mario over him. Sonic the Hedgehog is still a great character to me, and I did somewhat grew up with him as a kid. If it weren't for the Kirby anime, I probably would have found King DDD a meh. But since the Kirby anime exists, I love King DDD. Eh, I don't care about all of our Norza pigments. I really like Lucario. It's design, it's the concept of aura, and the fact that in Super Smash Bros. it gets powerful the more damage it takes, it's freaking awesome. I mean, I think Toon Link is really cute, but did they really need another version of Link? While Edgelords aren't exactly my absolute favorite characterization for a character, I do have to say that it really does fit Wolf's villainous persona. Plus, I really like Wolf's design in Ultimate compared to Brawl. Not that Brawl was bad, but Ultimate was just a superior design. Villager is boring. I like Mega Man, but he can be a pain to fight against. Who exactly asked for Wii Fit Trainer? I don't exactly have a strong opinion towards Rosalina and Luma, but they are pretty good and I think Luma is pretty cute. Didn't really care much for Lil Mac, but after seeing the opponents he had to go up against and punch out, I really respect him now. Look, I love Greninja and it was my starter for Kalos, but after the Pokemon of the Year award, I can't help but find this Pokemon a little too overrated. I really like the concept behind me fighters. The fact that you can actually dress them up as characters that you know aren't going to be in Smash or you think aren't going to be in Smash is just awesome. And out of all of them, I prefer me Brawler. I really love Palutena. She's beautiful and strong and she's one of my mains. While I don't think I'm going to be good at playing as Pac-Man, I still do appreciate that he's in the game. Eh. Unlike the other Fire Emblem characters, I appreciate the fact that Robin doesn't actually use a sword, but instead uses magic. While I do like Shulk and the fact that the Monado gives him different powers such as increased strength, speed, or defense, I also find it a little bit stressful that it can be a little bit hard calculating when to use the right powers at the right time. I really like Bowser Jr. I really like his dynamic between his dad and the Mario games. Not a big fan of the Duck Hunt duo, but I appreciate that they're in the game. Call me basic or boring, but I really love Ryu and his story. A wandering warrior, traveling around the globe, seeking for challenges and fighters to surpass and become the strongest warrior there is. That's awesome. Though I don't love him as much as Ryu, I love Ken. I love how he's very different from Ryu in terms of personality, yet very similar in fighting style, and I love how both of them get along despite their differences. To be honest, I never even heard of Cloud Strife before his debut in Super Smash Bros. 4, but after that I started watching videos that had him in it, and after that I started growing to like him a little bit more. Other than being a dragon in disguise, I don't care much about Corrin. As someone who's just a casual player, not a competitive player, I can safely say that I don't hate Bayonetta. I'm just not a real big fan of her, that's all. I didn't really know much about Inkling, but I did know that it was inevitable that they were going to be included in Smash, so I wasn't really surprised about that. But what I was surprised is about how dark their lore actually was. Seriously, listening to Palutena's guidance really gave me a brand new perspective on them, and now I think they're pretty cool. Ridley is a big dragon that's also called the Cunning God of Death. Do I really need to explain any more reasons why I love him and why he's my main? I mean, I can't really say much about Simon Belmont since I never played very much of the Castlevania games, but I will say though that his inclusion in Smash is really cool. While Richter is about as cool as Simon Belmont, I will have to say I prefer Simon over him. While I don't really know much about King K. Rool, I'm very happy for the fans who wanted him to join Super Smash Bros. as I feel like he definitely does deserve it since he was a long hiatus character. Normally I would ask if anyone really did want Isabelle to join Super Smash Bros. but honestly after seeing her animations in the game, I really grown to love her. 
I mean, Incineroar is cool, but honestly, I prefer Decidueye over him. I know that he's a joke character, but did anyone really ask for Piranha Plant? While I don't really know much about Joker, nor have I ever played Persona 5, I will say this, I really like the 2D art style of his Smash Brothers reveal. I mean, it's cool that we have multiple different versions of Hero, but I can't really say much besides that because I don't really know much about Dragon Quest, nor do I know the character and its multiple different counterparts. While I'm not the biggest Banjo and Kazooie fan, I will say this, I am glad that they got included in Super Smash Bros. after a long hiatus, simply because they made lots of fans so very happy. I don't really know much about Terry, nor do I know much about Fatal Fury, but it is nice to see more fighting game representation in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Out of all of the Fire Emblem characters, Violet is definitely the worst. I don't really see anything unique about him or her, nor do I even see any point in him or her joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I never played ARMS, but I do like Min Min. She has a unique character design, I really like her dragon arms, plus I really love how she's a Chinese representation character. Even though I don't like it as much as I used to when I was a kid, Minecraft was a huge part of my childhood, and seeing Steve, Alex, Zombie, and Enderman finally be represented in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was just amazing to me. I don't really know much about Sephiroth, but I love him. I love his reveal trailer, and I love his main theme song. Originally, I was disappointed that Pyra and Mithra were announced to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I've grown to actually like them a little bit more, and after watching a few cutscenes of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and learning more about their lore, I've grown to like them a little bit more. While I prefer having Jin over Kazuya to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I am glad to at least have a Tekken representation in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Sora's best boy, he's too pure and precious for this world! <laughs>